Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something quite fun and different, so I thought I'd vlog it for you guys. I'm going to the Museum of Ice Cream. It opened in Singapore not too long ago and they just like invited me and so I can't see Zen. Zen is just behind all these lights, yeah? We're at the studio and I just finished filming and so that's why I I have my face on, but I do still need to get changed. I'm gonna pick an outfit. I'll probably help Zen get ready, but yeah, I'll take you to the Museum of Ice Cream. They have unlimited ice cream to eat there. That's really why I'm going. Rummaging through. I'm like very stressed out now. You're stressed? What look are you gonna do? I don't know, I'm stressed. Every time I put on makeup, I'm stressed. You <laughs> should be stress free. What oh look shall God. we do for Zen today? She's very useful. 23. Don't say my age. <laughs> I mean, 18. 18 forever. What are these whiskers, man? What is that hair? What is this hair? <gasps> what what is, is this? What does this hair look? Look at my back. Okay, so Alfred just dropped us off. We're gonna go in. It's looking a bit gloomy today, so I'm glad we're gonna be indoors. As soon as we stepped in, it was pink overload. It felt like the pink version of Willy Wonka's factory, except he only made ice cream. The rules and safety was pretty straightforward. Sanitize your hands and be socially distanced, yada, yada, yada. Next, we needed name tags, but not with our regular boring names. We came up with special ice cream agent names. My new identity was Tasty Tina and Zen was Zesty Zen cause she gives you that zing. Like most museums, this one had historical information about ice cream, but honestly, everyone walked right past it and started taking photos instead. You know, working on their Instagram game. We moved on to a room with this giant ice cream marble run. It was like a souped up version of the ones you see as a kid outside the stores. You put the coin in and watch it spin round and round and round until it drops into the center and you say au revoir to your 20 cent coin. Okay, now we're getting to the good stuff. This is Surface Paradise with cute pink palm trees and a Hagen Daz ice cream station. If you're familiar with your ice cream brands, you know this stuff ain't cheap. Unlimited ice cream. Cheers! Yeah. Mango sorbet. Nice, a bit sour. I don't know what to call this next space, but let's just call it the ABC magnet room for obvious reasons. Don't forget to like and subscribe, especially if you like ice cream, which should be everyone, because if you don't like ice cream, you must be a serial killer. Here's me posing for the gram. And here is Zen being thirsty. Can you tell she's single? Pretty obvious, right? Okay, can this place get any cuter? Like this diner looks like a set straight out of Blackpink's music video, but a little bit better because they have free ice cream. I chose the apple pie flavor with sprinkles. Mm. 
And here is where we were able to redeem our complimentary champagne. Cheers. Too bad we're not big champagne fans. I feel like it's an acquired taste, you know, like it's just too bubbly for me, but I'm drinking it anyway. Now, what do you do when you've had too much champagne? You drunk dial, preferably on some cute pink payphones. No diner would be complete without a jukebox with all the greatest hits. And then it was time to work off all those extra calories. Ugh, all that jumping mixed with alcohol and ice cream was not a good idea. Next, Zen and I filmed our audition tape for YouTube's Next Top Model. I work it, I work it, yeah. Then we discovered a hidden disco room where we pulled out our best dance moves. Mostly ones we learned on TikTok. We did our best reenactment of Wrecking Ball. Zesty Zen did such a great job that a paparazzi mistaken her for Miley. Okay, ice cream break time. This one is a local favorite. It's an ice cream sandwich. Usually you find these at ice cream carts scattered along busy streets of Singapore and they're perfect for a hot day. More ice cream. Finito. Gone. After our little snack, we continued our journey through the museum. Oh, lots of bananas. I filmed a solo audition tape for YouTube's Next Top Model and I even found a fan. Okay, maybe she's not a fan of my modeling, but she does like my videos. Now, if you fancy some hands-on crafty action, you can assemble your very own ice cream truck and have a snack whilst you're at it. Moving on to the sprinkle pool. Look how cute it looks. Doesn't it make you just want to jump in? Getting out was the hard part. There was no gracious way of maneuvering yourself out of thousands of giant sprinkles, even if you're sober. Before our way out, I met another amazing fan and we threw peace signs at the camera. But wait, there is more, that is not the end. For those who want to get boozed up or fill their bellies with more substantial foods other than ice cream, there's an outdoor cafe and bar. Honestly, we were there just for the complimentary cocktails. Do it again, like I put in my ah, then I go, oh, oh! Cheers! That was so much fun, guys. If you're in Singapore, I highly recommend you check it out. But they actually have like um, the ice cream museum or museum of ice cream around the world. This is the first international one that they've opened. Cheers. Then Zen, Zen's a supermodel. She's got a fan on her. She's like, oh, yes. Oh, refreshing. Mm, that's good. Is oh, it alcohol? Man. It is, but <laughs> there's gin in it, but it's. It's subtle. 
I guess that is it to this vlog guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already and we shall speak to you guys next time. Bye! Cheers! Your mate? I don't even know her. <laughs> Bum, doo 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 doo